Today I'll be discussing on the assurance of salvation. Can we be sure of our salvation? Salvation is communion with God when man comes to its completeness. For man is created by God alone. Which is why St. Augustine of people tells us that our hearts are restless until they rest in God. But Francis tells us that salvation is the story of God looking for us where God offers us love and welcomes us with tenderness it is the center of our faith it is living the life of God this explains why the culture tells us that the salvation of souls is the supreme law of the church in other words the salvation of souls is the prima facie the focal point of the church, of humanity. This salvation is freely given. It is not bought, not paid for. It is a free gift. Yes and yes, we can be sure of our salvation because First Timothy chapter 2 verse 3 tells us that it is good and it pleases God our Savior who wants all men to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. This is God's word for us. God cannot lie. Throughout the scriptures, we, particularly the New Testament, we read of God's promises to save all who will believe upon his son, Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 10 verse 13 tells us that. John chapter 6 verse 37 explains further. We can be sure of our salvation because Jesus Christ paid the price. When Jesus died on the cross, he bore our iniquities, enduring God's wrath, and cried out, It is finished. John chapter 19, verse 30. The Catholic Church tells us and emphasizes the unique character of Christ's sacrifice on the cross as the source of eternal salvation, and teaches that his most holy passion on the wood of the cross merited justification for us. St. Rose of Lima tells us that apart from the cross, there is no other ladder by which we may go to heaven. Dear friends, no preacher, no evangelist, parent or friend can give us salvation. In Christ Jesus we find salvation. In Acts chapter 4 verse 12, the scripture tells us that there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 9 tells us that for God has not destined us for us, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. We obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ by a transformative change of heart a metanoia, a spiritual conversion and reformation. It is letting go of sin and letting in of righteousness. This is what the season of Lent offers us in the Catholic Church. A season where we bear fruits that defeat repentance. Matthew chapter 3 verse 8. 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 10 tells us that Godly grief produces repentance that leads to salvation and brings us no regret. Dear friends, salvation is our goal in life. For the whole essence of man's existence is to be with God. Please go to God for mercy. Pope Francis tells us God is never tired of forgiving us. May God bless us through Christ our Lord. Amen.